Hey right guys, Trish Munch is Joey and today we are watching and reacting to episode 9 of One Tree Hill season 1. This episode is titled With Arms Outstretched. Hmm, does someone need a hug? Maybe, maybe that could be what this episode is building up to is someone just needing a hug. Episode 9 guys, I'm really really enjoying the show so far. Every time I load up an episode I'm like, I'm like excited for it. I think this, The Vampire Diaries, Supernatural, like pretty much all the shows I'm reacting to at the moment because uh, like I said, I'm, there's some shows I'm just not watching at the moment because uh, I just want to focus on shows that I really, 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 really enjoy. Just give, me, just give me like good happy vibes and One Tree Hill is definitely uh, one of those shows which is really nice. So episode 9 guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe and of course if you want the early and the uncle reactions to One Tree Hill then a link to the Patreon page will be in the description box down below where this should be around between 5 and between five and seven episodes ahead i think there's seven episodes ahead at the moment as of recording this uh and in the uh, pinned comment down below will be a link to the charity of the month so make sure to click the link there if you want more information on what that charity is but for now let's do this <laughs> look how bust he is oh they're just gonna go sneak it up you're not even hidden well i'm sorry i do ship these two the ships are sailing i can pretty much guarantee you that sun will not rise the next day. <laughs> That's not a Fair, <laughs> It's not, okay. I love coach. Coach speeches never get old in shows or films. Oh, I'm on number one ship. Do, I'm sorry, but they're just... Uh, that book I was telling you about. No. Just when I think things can't get any weirder around here, Mom picks over Karen's cafe. I think I'm going to invite Lucas over to spend the night. <laughs> I imagine. Exactly yeah, she probably will do that at some point. I'm looking to top that this week. No, you won't. You want to know why? Because you're not tough enough inside. I got garbage buckets you'll never get because you can't bang down low oh like God, I did. this guy. I'm happy, Mom. Dad loves me. <laughs> he was wondering where his mother was. I don't, oh, I don't, don't think he was. Dan. I'm tired. Dan. I'm hungry. Oh, well, how about you eat first, then we argue? How about we just not argue? How about we just don't eat? Okay, so your solution is to argue and starve. Look, just tell your brother I need to be on the floor for 40 minutes and I need to be in a different gear. Sure about that? Bad idea. Yeah, he'll know what to get. Bad idea. Having Nathan's mom running the cafe? Yeah, it's a little strange. It's also pretty gutsy of her. Dan's got to be giving her a lot of grief about it. You know, Luke, you really ought to give her a chance. Yeah, she you gotta give her a chance. She's cool. This is a bad idea, mate. Oh, of course. How would you like to call that a practice? Have a mass fine by me. Nathan, what? Me! <laughs> what the hell do you all want from me? Walk away. Oh god, he, surely he knows. He's probably been... Up top. He's been doing this job long enough to probably tell if someone's on something. You, uh, you okay? You're shaking, Nathan. <laughs> My heart's racing, too. That's what happens when I'm around you. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> we knew it was coming. You love the game. What the hell happened along the way? You happened. <sighs> what? There was always something for you to pick apart, something that wasn't good enough. I might be tough on him, Whitey, but then I'm not the one who told him the sun wouldn't rise if he lost his next game. Uh, that's coach talk, is it not? I don't know, like, you gotta put, like, you gotta have a talk, be like, you know, you gotta win the game. Cheers. That's what I'd say. <laughs> you really laid into Whitey yesterday. You deserved it. Coach City's pretty tough, huh? They suck. Listen, man, I know you're under a lot of pressure from your dad. Hey, you don't know anything about my dad, all right? He knows a couple Maybe of things. Maybe if you knocked down a shot every now and then, it wouldn't have to carry us out there. Well, Luke has tried. Which is exactly what I see you doing tonight with me. <laughs> right. Well, the deal's a deal, right? That's there right. it is. It is. Where's Pete in this app? Here she's probably still at home. Oh, we're just straight into the date. Yo, I'm here for this, I'm not gonna lie. 
You're getting schooled, you. bro. <laughs> there's a lot you don't know about me. I love it in the summer when there's heat lightning at night. <sighs> These the two's chemistry is... I it's just... Squellers. It's too good. Is this sad? Like, I, I like Peyton, but know. if <laughs> Peyton and Lucas start a date, I'm going to be oh sad. God. Lucas, you're like the most serious guy I've ever met. You met Nathan. I guess Nathan was Fine. drifting in a school bus, running into trains in the first scene we saw him in, so. This isn't the thing. Yo, this these. Just... <laughs> <sighs> Lucas, please. Can you just get serious for a minute? Oh, I'm serious. Okay, Nathan. Why do I feel like he's gonna break her heart? Nathan, come on, stop it. Come on. I mean, Nathan, she's... Don't, hey! What? I think you should go. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I called it like kidding, 60 right? seconds ago. Mmm. Why are you having fun? Uh -huh. I'm glad we did this. He's not drunk already, is he? So what's your take on tattoos? We're not getting a tattoo. He's gonna get a tattoo that just says, like, a name across his chest or something. Oh. What do you think about... Uh. This tattoo. And there we go. Thank fuck. <laughs> Keith's gonna pick up on it. Why don't you go sleep it off and um, we'll deal with this tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Keith. Dad vibes. What are you doing, Dad? Still looking for your name in the box scores? <laughs> Come on, Terry Reed, you're gonna be late. What's up? Nothing. Oh, he did not right. get a tattoo. Oh my god. Check that out. Oh my god. It's a joke. No. No, 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 just, just wipe it off, okay? Keith, it's a tattoo. No. It's a tattoo. You did not get an actual tattoo. Oh, what? It's an ancient symbol for fun. Oh, for fun? <laughs> because I thought it was for freaking fool. Keith, Luke, your mom trusted me. She's gone five days and... Oh, and no, I didn't even think of that. It's a tattoo. It's a tattoo. There is no just. You're <sighs> out half the night, you're drunk, and now you got a tattoo? What, did you join the Navy, too? You took advantage of me, Luke. You'd have never pulled a stunt like this with your mom here. What stunt? You mean actually enjoying myself for once? <laughs> you said yeah, you said I do feel bad for Keith, though. Right like, you are just going to know you've got a tattoo. Keith, I expected more from you. Ooh. Peyton, for the five seconds we've seen you. Hi, friend. Guess who I went out with last night? I'll tell you, Lucas. If I went out. You didn't tell me you were such a good kisser. Oh, God. You got, like, she's not done it wrong, technically. Like, her and Luke's on, like, together, and she... You know, Peyton made it clear that she ain't interested in him, even though she is. Hi. But I, I don't follow. Deb's Diner, the hottest little place in town. No, Dan. Dan I don't that's... want a diner. What's this really about? You tell me. He really bore here to try and get her to buy a diner. You hardly know the woman. And how's this sound? Go on. I was a kid. Yeah. I made a decision. Mm -hmm. And I am tired of you and everyone else holding over my head every day of my life. So if you're running the No one's holding it out. I guess they are. Forget it. I don't need it and I don't want it. You know. Okay, yeah, you weren't expecting Lucas, whatever, we'll let you off. But <laughs> you still treat him like shit. You treat your other kid like shit. You treat your wife like shit. That's not enough for me. Bad experience. She had hot sex? What, are you, are you a virgin? Yeah, so what if I am? Nothing. Good for you. <laughs> well, a big deal to her then. And Nathan's just trying to fucking... So what are you gonna do? <laughs> Let me see it. Oh, Jesus. Jeez, Luke. Have you not put, been putting cream on that? This thing, some back alley in the Philippines? Your arms are going to be dead for the game tonight. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> no, I don't. 
Yeah, all right, love you to break my record, Nathan. I have to be at the cafe, so I'm gonna miss your game. Good news is Haley can be there. Whatever. Oh man, he better get off these roids quick. Oh, and he's wearing you with your PU while like you're there for your fucking other kid, mate. What are you on about? I'm really moody right now. How did he hear her? His music's well loud. Because I can, okay? That's how it works. People are mean. If I'm not perfect, they're gonna eat me alive. That's my problem. Okay, Nathan. You go do your thing then. Yeah, don't pull with that shit. Time out. Your eyes on the game. Time out. Coach, you better watch your boy. Ooh. What's he doing? As far as the coach hasn't clocked on. I don't care how many points you Look, he's on shaking. I'll move you so far down the bench, they'll have to pump air to you. Luke, wait for Nathan Scott to come. Nah, it's always going to happen. Fuck. Pick him, pick him, pick him. Oh, dude. <laughs> what does he take? Go, go, go. Coach, coach. Mad. Didn't be the right call then. <laughs> That's probably all he's gonna be bothered about as well. You were severely dehydrated. We had I was old it was. Because your body temperature was very high. Now, I need to ask you some questions about the supplements you're taking. Uh, Benzedrine, Methadrine. Anabolic steroids, uh, yeah. Anadrol, Dianabol. What about speed, uh, cocaine, ecstasy? Hey, Doc, he's an athlete, not a junkie, okay? He's also a kid. True. But he's my kid. <laughs> so True. You, know you have a point there. Your son is going to be fine, physically. That's great. But they also tell me... That's great. He's taking some sort of amphetamine. It's got to be some kind of mistake. So if you label him an addict, you take away his future. So unless you got your results 100% accurate, you're looking at a lawsuit you don't want. <laughs> now, from where I stand, uh, to get him well. yeah, threaten the doctor, mate. I'll do the rest. I was on my way to check on him, and then I realized you were here, so I turned around and came back. You should go. How is he? Ooh. Oh my god, I shouldn't even know. What about him? Oh my god. I appreciate it. Didn't even tell his wife. Or his mom. Nah, he's dipped. <laughs> um. I uh, talk to Dan. Nathan's gonna be fine. I'll forfeit the damn games before I lose a boy to that. I've got to be the sorriest son of a bitch on the planet. I tried to call you. You weren't answering your phone. Because I ran out of the cafe with nothing but my car keys and the fear that my son was dying. Oh, and that's my fault. After yes. Henry walked in. How long was that, Dan? 20 minutes after Nathan collapsed? A half hour, maybe? My first concern was for Nathan. You're overreacting. Oh, overreacting. Oh that my son didn't and my husband didn't see fit to call? Done. Dan, he could be anywhere. He could be unconscious. Get a hold of yourself. The doctor said he's out of harm's way. Well, the doctor was wrong. Because as long as you control him the way you do, he'll be in harm's way. Oh, okay. I get I'm to blame. It's got to be my fault. Yeah. But you consider this lady. God. Give off helping your little friend Karen. Her lady? Friend. What the like fuck? You smug son of a bitch. I want you out of this house. Dead. Finally. Jesus. Emotional night. No, 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 Dan. It's been a night of clarity. Uh. And it's time for you to go. Thank God. Pack a bag and get out. Or so help me God, I will stab you in your sleep. <laughs> Yo, that escalated quick. <laughs> oh my God. You better pray that my son is okay. Fair play. You went from, I'm leaving the house to, you better leave or I'm gonna stab you in your sleep. I bloody he wouldn't though, he wouldn't, he should, but I don't think he actually would pick her in him, that's the sad part. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've never really seen a connection with Nathan and her, so I can't say like they have a good bond, because okay. I've not seen it. I really hate the way we ended things. So do I. Okay. That's why we went. Nobody answered the door. We had a lot of mistakes, Haley. Sometimes because of my dad. Sometimes my choices. First, first. No, it's not okay. I'm not okay. I fell on the floor tonight. I was so scared. I'm so terrified. Did I 
saw you. When did he see it? I promised myself that if I could just get up, I'd walk over to you and tell you how much I need you. How much I want you. Nothing else matters. Don't say you love her. Don't say you love her, please. <laughs> okay, thank God. I was like, this is this is wholesome. <laughs> I don't mind the scene, but as soon as one of them say they love each other, I'm like, you just said it way too early. Peyton? I heard about Nathan. You seem to be okay. So, what's up? Lucas, I made a mistake. Oh, no. No, not now! When you said you wanted to be with me, I got, I got scared. And I pushed you away, but... Peyton. But... The truth is, I want all the same things that you want. Uh, and is Brooke here? And I want them with you. Brooke's here. Okay, superstar. Woo! I can't. I can't. Hey. Oh. We missed you after the game tonight. Oh my god. Yeah. I. I guess I just kind of got. Jesus. Scared. Yo. Peyton. No, you snooze, you lose, man. Like, I'm sorry. Don't cut Brooke and Lucas short, please. Let them have their time. I know Peyton and Lucas are going to get together at some point. Like, that's inevitable with a show that's nine seasons long. But, let them have their time. Well, thank God he left. I was afraid he might have got stabbed in his sleep. Well, actually, I don't want to be afraid of that, but... Oh, they're going to... A mass of gauges and dials and registers. How? Lucas, please! Oh my god. And we can read only a few. <laughs> oh, I want an awkward situation. They both definitely like him. I feel like he likes Peyton more, unfortunately. Hopefully I'm proven wrong. Brooke and Lucas just have way more chemistry. And I like Peyton, I do like Peyton, but I don't, I don't know, I don't feel much chemistry. There is chemistry with them. I think if like Brooke didn't exist, I'd probably ship them more, but she does exist. And she's a better character, so. With arms outstretched then, I guess that could be a means to them playing basketball. Could be like with Keith being the father figure for the episode. With arms outstretched. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know what that could mean. It could be very simple. Like, I guess Nathan needed a hug. <laughs> so uh, maybe I was right in the intro. But uh, yeah, another another solid episode. I can't actually believe how good this show is. I'm so surprised by it. Because the first was it like three apps. I was like, yeah, it's, it's good. But now it, I feel like the last three, it, since the app, I think it was app six, where it was Nathan and Lucas kind of not bonding. But you know when they were on the road, when they got left behind from the bus and they had to find their way home together. Since that episode, it's just been like a step up uh, because to me, this is another nine out of 10 episode. I think it was banging. Uh, I really like what they did with Nathan and you can tell he's kind of struggling with the pressure that his dad's putting on him. And you, can, you saw that in other episodes as well, but I felt like this was like the boiling point and then he kind of resorted to taking steroids and then got really dehydrated at the end uh, because of the pressure from his dad. I'm really surprised that dad left before knowing if Nathan was safe. Uh, because they still have no clue where he is. Um, like, I know he's safe with Haley, we know that, but the parents have no clue where he is. Um, and that's like, Haley let them know, I don't know, but I don't think that happened. We would, we would have had a scene of that. Um, so yeah, I really, really liked Nathan uh, this episode. I think it was his probably best episode, actually. Really loved Lucas and Brooke, like them, their little date. I'd, I'd, like I said, I've said it a billion times, but they just have a lot of chemistry and I really like both their characters and I hope they stick with it. Uh, for longer than what I think they're going to do. Because if his next step and he's like running back to Peyton, I can't be asked. I can't be asked. But then I guess the benefit of that is I say it's nine seasons, like Peyton and Lucas are going to get together at some point. But then because that is still so long of a show, maybe Brooke and Lucas could still be a thing. Or there'll be someone who comes along for Brooke who's like got better chemistry. So yeah, like that. I didn't, we didn't see much of Peyton this episode apart from when she obviously went to Lucas at the end and then a couple of things in between, but nothing really of note. The other character was Haley, kind of, you know, having that self-respect for herself and just shutting down Nathan uh, when he was being a dick to her. So uh, I, I really like, she's been the character of light since app one. She was the one I kind of gravitated towards uh, first. I want to say she's my favorite character now. I, th I do think that is actually Probably is Brooke, to be honest. Maybe it's and, and Haley still. And I still like the mom, but obviously she's gone to do a uh, Karen, she's gone to do a thing. I really like um, Nathan's mom as well. She's definitely up there. The actor who plays Dan plays him so well because he's just this smarmy little 
father. I just he, he does play it well. He's, he's, he plays the knob <laughs> very well. I think that's everyone. Keith as well uh, was solid, like calling out Lucas for being, you know, problematic. <laughs> just like yeah. I do understand where Keith's coming from. Like Karen leaves for five days, and then Lucas has gone out to get drunk and get a tattoo. I think him being drunk was like you know that's fine because. It's not that big a deal, but again, the tattoo like that's that's permanent. Like there's, I mean, unless they get it lasered off, but it's gonna be more. I don't think they're gonna have the money for that. Like, and I don't think they're gonna do that. So every time he has his shirt off now or a vest on, they're gonna have to. Unless the actor actually got that tattoo, I don't know. So yeah, nine out of ten for this episode, guys. I really really enjoyed it. But thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know the episode down below in the comments. And if you do want uh, to have the early and uncut reactions to One Tree Hill then link to the Patreon page should be in the description box and in the pinned comment should be a link to the charity for the month so make sure to check that out if you want more information and I'll see you next time for episode 10. Jesus, episode 10 already so until then take care.